Hi everyone, here is Damien Levy. Welcome in this Forex video. Today I will teach you how to use the EMA 13 to confirm the MNW. So I picked on my chart already the support and resistance. This is my yellow horizontal line. And now what I wait on those specific level are uh, M or W formation. And to help me filter that, I plot a 13 EMA. So to plot it, you go to insert, indicator, trend, and moving averages. It's 13 period, shift zero, exponential, apply to close, and I put it yellow on this specific chart. We will trade same pattern M and W. So let's say my resistance is here. And we have the price. Make it in a blue line, go up. And in the middle we have the 13 EMA it is so what we want to see we want to see to confirm the first leg we want to see the price breaking the 13 EMA and closing below it if it's an uptrend like that to play for for a sell and this will confirm that this is our first leg here and the second leg will have to cross again the 13 EMA and come back and cross again here and close below the 13 EMA and this will be our signal for entry so our entry will be right here our stop loss will be 2 to 5 pips above the last peak and the target will be 1 and 2 risk reward so this is to explain to you how it works exactly. Now let's look on the chart. How does it look? Well, this one is a bit risky. For example, for this level right here. So price go up, go down, go up, and now break our 13 EMA. But the price don't come back here. That's what I would like to see, something near here. And that's when you will enter for a sell. Aside of that, it's just break a little above here and close below. So this would be an, a good entry. The problem with that is the stop loss should be here. And it's a too big stop loss compared to the target profit that you should have. So we don't take this trade. So now let's look at the next level. And next level actually happens the same pattern. So the price break down here and breaks the EMA right here and after come back here and break up so this one is not takeable either because the candle is too big and the stop loss would be too much big so let's go to the next oh this is interesting it's not valid and I will explain to you why so you have first leg here and it breaks the 13 EMA right here so first leg but after the next leg is very way higher than the previous one so it means the uptrend is not finished and the price is likely to go up so even if it close here below we don't take this one we wait to have one top like that and the other top near the same level or a little below to have a, or it can be a little above but very slightly not as much as here so let's continue to the next level here we have so next level so let's see what happened here price don't close below the 13 EMA don't close below here it just closed at the 13 and we want to see a clear break of the 13 like for example this one exactly here this is the break of the 13 we expect so now I know I am in my first leg 
my first leg is done so I will wait for the second leg so once this is broken here let's look at what happened this is the second leg so here it respect first leg here second leg close below 13 EMA clear one so we have our second leg here and we have a top that is nearly at the same level as the previous one so this is a valid pattern so your entry will be at the end of this candle right here your stop loss will be 2 to 5 pips above the previous high like here and your target will be 1 time and 2 times your risk so let's look at what happened come back for a while come down so I think the first target is hit let's look at take a look so our stop loss would be so not right here but 2 to 5 pips so around 17 pips let's say and it touched 17 18 here so you have your first target met with two candles 30 minutes and after <coughs> so 17 it should be 34 so 34 pips we have 33 here and maybe we will get out at this candle because the price action get very little and uh, we don't want to lose the trade so we might get out around here And the 13 EMA can be used also as an exit when it cross back again it clearly like this one. Second step using the 13 EMA as an exit point right here. So for example you enter here and you keep the, the trade along the way. When it retests like that I don't, it's for longer term and you exit right here which would make it I don't exit the train, I let the chance to win and it's like 20 pips when it's 17 so 1, 1 1.2 risk reward still good and it can be nearly 2 risk reward if you take at the bottom around 33 pips but knowing you have a previous resistance and support here you could have taken your profit here this is a nice support here <coughs> this is a nice support here a very nice bounce so when you see that you can take a profit at the next support and resistance which is right here so let's take another example so we have this valid which was a winning one and it continues to fall as you can see so it's a huge huge trade if you just keep holding and let your target touch what you can do is also when it touches the the one risk reward you can put your stop loss at break even and you let run your trade so you have nothing to lose and in this case if you let your trade run you can make huge uh, huge pips if you get all the way down to the next support you make 82 pips so it's a huge move and by the way when you learn to plot your your level with the techniques that I use you you want to get this kind of pips number 50 pips to 100 pips that's your target ultimately so now let's look at this example so first leg here break the 13 EMA clearly go up go down break again here and now go up again and break here so your entry point is exactly here <coughs> your stop loss would be the last high 2 to 5 pips here and 1 to target profit so let's look at what happened and same happened this one so we have like uh, 31 so it's a big stop loss but still it's a good level so I would have taken this this one and uh, tac 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 uh, 33 and it made 60 60 pips so same same appears it's nearly the next resistance you could have taken out of this trade with 1.5, 1.6, 1.8 maybe uh, risk reward ratio so break once the 13 and come back and break above this is your entry now let's come back to another level let's wait this one to break this one is not a valid one
When you have a range like that, I don't count it as a valid one. I wait the price to get out of the range and maybe you could have taken this specific one. And the timing has an importance also. When it's the beginning of London open, you have good opportunity. So this one, for example, break down, break the 13 EMA and come back down and break again. And this would have been your entry, your stop loss would have been here and one to one, one to two, hit easily. Hit easily, so tac, 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 like, let's say, to be large, 18 pips, 19 pips, and it made 46 pips, so one to two risk reward is easily met. So this one is a good winning one, but same level as before, so I don't trade so much the same level by safety purposes. What we have here, we have only one cross here. But actually it was during the news. Uh, no, it's not takeable because uh, the candle finish here. So let's see what happened. So price break one level, two level, and go to the third. And when it goes to the third, no nameable pattern here. It create a range. After this range, you have this out of the range, this spike, which is a good sign. You have a good pattern here. Sorry. When the price come down, when price come down, come up, it breaks the 13 EMA, come back down and break again the 13 EMA. And this is a tight entry actually. This would have made uh, Tech, tech, tech. Oh, it's 30 pips. It's big candle actually. Huge volatility. So 30 pips, stop loss, but it would have made 44, 50, 57, and I guess it would have been a little more up. No, but you have around around 60 pips, so which it's nearly one to two risk reward with a stop loss quite large with 60, 60 pips already. So same, here you have a nice M confirm here, but there is no support and resistance or there is a support and resistance quite, quite strong right here. But it's not one of the best, but still there is one and it react to it. And it breaked one time the 13 EMA, make a same top and break a second time the EMA. So your entry is here, your stop loss is here and you have 1 to 1 and 1 to 2. And I believe this one won some months ago. You have 25, it made 36 and come back up. Oh no, okay, so it made 1.5. But say when you see the next support and resistance, you get out of your trade most of the time. So, especially when you see a pattern like this one. So, that's it. Let's look at another one. So this one. It's a very nice regular MNW. If you don't use the confirmation of the 13 EMA, you can take this trade. As I told you, with an angle thing pattern, it's a very nameable pattern. You can take this trade but not with the 13 confirmation and it made the 1 to 2 risk reward ratio now we go to the next level okay so this one break one time the 13 EMA come back near the level it's not a clear break but it's still this one is takeable actually it made the rules and it's 26 pips stop loss come back to it come back too much so we might have get out of the trade with a little loss here or break even eventually it didn't hit the stop huh? but it come back so much time so when it come back two times three times four times it's dangerous for you to stay in the trade so I advise you that you get out let's look at another one I don't talk about this one, I don't take this one, why? Because it created a new high and after we have a huge drop, so it's a continuation of the trend and most likely when you have a huge drop like that, 
it continues to fall. I will not go against this specific trend. So this W is not good for me. And this level has been played already it's quite some time. And as you see the trend go down, it make a W but it also made a M and the M worked perfectly. Even retouch here. Tac. But we don't have another chance to enter here, so it's not good. Here we have a good one right here. Price come back down, break 13, come back again and break again here. So the stop loss will be here and one to one risk reward ratio. We are against the trend as you can see so maybe you don't take so much than that. And the two to one is a winning one also. Look at that. This level worked pretty well and uh, reject well the price up. So same again, well, same level, I don't like to play again the same level, but this one worked well. So, the 13 is interesting here because it permits you to avoid this fake. Because this looks like a M, and if you just took the name roll pattern, you will enter here, your stop loss is here, and you will get out with this specific leg. And if you wait the 13 EMA, you wait this break here, and it come back up, and you will enter only here and your stop loss is here and you never get out your stops will never be hit and after you have 1 to 1 risk reward and 1 to 2 and you make a very good winning trade for this one you enter here you have like 20 pips and it made uh, tac tac it made 80 pips four times what you what you risk this one is a huge winning so this one don't come back quite near yet, so I don't take it. <laughs> and it's create a range, so I wait for this one, break the range up. Break, so this is my first leg, and after it breaks up again and breaks, this is my second leg. So we have this first leg here, right here, and second leg here, right here. And this is your entry point, your stop loss and one to one risk reward is met very easily and the second I think will be met very easily too so this is a winning once again let's say 18 and it made 36 so it's nearly a one to two risk reward when you see this range you can get out and you will get out with 1.5 risk reward which is already a very good one so this level is gone Next level, not name ball pattern here. Okay, maybe this level taken as a as a buy, but no, same happen. It created a new high here, and the trend is reversing now. So let's say we have a one loss here. We can even count in the worst case scenario two loss, and most of the other trade made one point five to reward against the risk so we are way 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 ahead the game anyway so that's it this level is played already a lot we have very good example here also break the 13 EMA come back down and break here so it's this one is quite huge so I would have waited I think 30% or maybe 50% of the candle to enter if I could maybe not as this spike but around those spikes to enter and my stop loss would have been right below here and the first target is here so maybe I would have taken one 1 1.5 maximum risk reward anyway it's a winning but there is no support and resistance so it's just for the sake of the of the perfect W pattern with the 13 EMA confirmation okay this one made a one leg eye we have no chance to enter because there is no second attempt but this was a huge drop how many pips is that like 100 pips huge 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 well see so you have the same example here so this one 
but there is no support, so we don't take this one, just for the sake of the example with the 13 EMA. Stop loss here, entry here, first target here, second target never met, and it range around the first target so you get out when this happen, and it's a winning anyway. This one, well this one is a bit creepy, I will not take this. I would have taken this leg as my first leg and I would have waited another one here but it never happened so we are out of trouble. <clears throat> okay, same level once again. So what do we have? We have our first leg here but the price never come near the high so I don't take this trade. But the, the drop was huge as you can see. 80 pips going down. This one only one leg, so not takeable. This one only one leg, not takeable either. This one, but a bit messy. I mean, very messy. It's ranging around the 13 EMA, so it's kind of, kind of dangerous. I don't like that. I don't take this kind of trade. This one is a perfect M with an engulfing candle. You could have taken it, but still a little bit risky, but there is because there is no 13 EMA confirmation. Again the trend, not really a pattern. This one this one is a pattern actually. Break 13 EMA here right here come back up and come back to manage the low right here and break the EMA right here. So stop loss here and let's see what happened just after. Oh, it's a losing one. It's a fake one. So we lose some, we win more. This is messy. When you have price like ranging all around the 13 EMA, it's not a good pattern to take. You need to see something clear going up and down of the 13 EMA. So I think we have seen a lot, so we might stop for, for now. Just to remind you the rules, if price goes up... Let's say you have a nice level of resistance right here. And you have a 13 EMA right here and break here and break here you wait for the first break to signify to you that the first leg is gone and the second leg right here when the candle of 15 minutes chart close below 13 EMA that's when you enter stop loss above the high 2 to 5 pips and the first target is 1 to 1 risk reward and 1 to 2 risk reward ratio that's the strategy using the 13 EMA as a confirmation to take the M and W. We are already at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't hesitate to like and share on your Facebook, Twitter, Google+, etc. You will also find below the video the link to join my Facebook group or eventually the Telegram channel where I provide free signals every week. I wish you the best. Bye!